welcome to this week's vlog. It is Thursday the 19th. It's my husband's birthday. Happy birthday to him. I'm sure you heard me say that in last week's vlog. Um, I ugh, have an important meeting in an hour, which is too early, but it is important, so. I descaled my Keurig this morning, which is great. It means I'm actually getting a full cup of coffee now instead of just like half a cup, which is what my Keurig was giving me before. Um, I started Jawbone yesterday and I think that it's trying to, I don't know what's happening with these baby hairs. I think that it's trying too hard um, to be pretentious. I don't know how else to explain it, but I think that it's trying too hard to be pretentious. So I am going to try and read it with my eyes and see if I get a little bit better of an understanding. Um, there's also a chance that maybe I just wasn't paying full enough attention in between chapters. Uh, because as I was rereading it with my eyes last night before bed, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm getting some of this. Like, I understand some of what's going on. I, I read some of this and I understood it, but then I was like, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm like an hour left in this audiobook and I don't know what's going on. So I'm rereading it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I need to write two clear your shit posts today or tomorrow. It doesn't matter which. Um. I am gonna try and finish job on today. I need to edit two vlogs and I also need to schedule uh, the text posts of the clear your shit stuff. I might do that um, tomorrow or next week though. Actually, I think we can do that next week. I also have to make like two more book block blanket block things. Um, but yeah. So there's that. Um, my mandala blanket that I've been working on is getting big and I think that it's coming out super cool. Um, I'm very pleased with how that's coming out. I'm gonna run out of yarn again though. So that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a very productive little while. So I am going to make sure that my daily notes are set up. I don't use my daily notes a ton. Um, actually hardly ever, so I'm hoping that I can get them a bit set up for this. Um, that's the only thing about the cousin is that like I like the idea of daily notes, but I don't use them and I don't know, I don't know what I don't know. Um, but like I don't want to give them up either. I like having that space to like do whatever I want. Um, if that makes sense, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to go. I just thought I would do a quick update. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Bye. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is an okay bar. It's an awful house And I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same without you That I'm afraid But we can make it go away I hope you hear the things I say When I'm choked up next to you
the 24th I'm so fucking sick um if you can't tell I obviously did not film an update yesterday um I did show you guys me making soup and tea to try and get through it I watched season I watched the all of the current episodes of Gen V I watched the first season of the boys and then most of the second season of the boys I took many many naps I have been reading um delicate condition <clears throat> sorry I like super um I like need to have my voice back because I need to work but I think I'm gonna have to cancel any calls I have today and just be like listen I can work I I want to work I don't want to sit on my couch and do fuck all today but um I straight up can't talk so I think that that is what I'm gonna have to do um Okay, I have 13 emails. I was out one day. One day. Okay, anyway, sorry. So, um, I started American Horror Story Delicate Condition. I don't know if I, or Delicate, and I don't know if I talked about this at all, but, um, I don't know when the rest of the episodes are gonna come out, and that's gonna take too long. So, like, I decided to read the book. I'm, like, 60% in, and I'm having a really good time, actually. I'm enjoying it much more than I actually expected. I... I do think it's dragging a little bit in that, not dragging, I guess, but like I'm 60% in and I'm no closer to having answers than I was at the very beginning. Um, I think I've essentially caught up to where American Horror Story is though, so that's cool, I guess. Um, I want to finish that book today or tomorrow. And then I'm going to read Vlad El Vemparito Fabuloso, which is the next in those little comics that I've been reading to help me with learning Spanish. Um, and then I might read, uh, The Unfortunate Wish of, The Very Unfortunate Wish of Melanie Yoshimura, Mura? Yoshimura, um, which is like a Coraline-esque Japanese retelling of another, of, a, of another story, The Melon Princess and The Amanjaku, which I don't know what those, that means. I haven't read that Japanese, uh, folktale. I don't know anything about it, but the story sounded interesting, so I may read that. I sound like someone who's been on tea for like a minute. Um, and that's not even like a drag or anything. I just don't know what's happening with my voice right now. I mean, like I do, I know that I'm losing my voice. And so I, I also like my ears are clogged. So I also cannot hear myself. So that doesn't help either. A bunch of people scheduled a fuck ton of meetings today and they're like important. So I'm going to have to tell Stephanie like, hi, I can go to these meetings, but I still don't have a voice. So cool. <laughs> I need to pay bills and shit. I'm gonna do that now. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, but I, I think that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Um, I just thought I would give a quick like update on everything. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I like have been, have not, did not do a good job of vlogging this last week. I just have not felt well. Um, but it's okay. It's fine. It'll be fine. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go pay some bills, though. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you later. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. I hope you guys know that I literally, like, this is actually an improvement. I currently sound better than I have this whole time, so... That's cool. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks, bye.
Hello, good morning. It is Wednesday the 25th. I did um, a lot of reading yesterday. I finished a uh, Delicate Condition and I also finished Vlad the um, Elegant Vampire, Little Vampire, um, which was one of the books that I was reading to help me with studying Spanish. Um, I also started um, Rouge by Mona Awad. I'm actually almost done with it. I'm going to definitely finish it today. I don't know what's going on in that book, so I can't really speak to it other than like it's very bunny-esque in me feeling like what, what the fuck is happening here? Uh, so there's that. Um, I need to work on the very last two posts of Clear Your Shit. Once that's done, I will put them in Canva and then I will uh, make them text posts on the website and then I will schedule them on Buffer. I know that I have like six days until the readathon starts for me to be doing this shit, but here we are. Who's surprised? Certainly not me. It'll get done before the weekend um, ends, so I, I at least know that. I'm not that worried about it. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I... What else? Sorry, my nails are like... A couple of them broke and so they are jagged which means they are getting caught on things which is annoying so um so i'm just trying to smooth that out okay i woke up early and on time it is literally seven o'clock this morning uh, right now it's seven o'clock i woke up early um so i am going to right now oh i for uh, i haven't taken my meds yet um I went and got yarn at Hobby Lobby for the 2024 book blanket. Very, very exciting. Um, I also now have a like, swatch board and everything for it, so I'm very excited. Um, I will have a video about it. I just uh, need to like put some footage together and stuff for it. I also got more yarn for this blanket that I am getting closer and closer to finishing. Um, every, day, every day I get closer. I'm at row 70, um, and I'm almost done with row 70. Um, and there's a total of 82 rows, so we are getting there. I do about two rows a day, so, um, and I have 10, 11, 12, 12 left, so in about six days in theory, um, two, two and a half rows. <coughs> so, in theory, I'll finish in about six days. Fuck. Sorry. It's a respiratory infection, y'all. It hurts. Um... God, I hope this doesn't turn into pneumonia. Sometimes it turns into pneumonia, and that's fun. Um, I am feeling better today, though. My voice is not completely shot, so that's great. Uh, anyway, I need to do the last two clear shit posts, like I said. I also need to do letters for um, the book blanket. I am missing the C and the T for October, so I need to do that. And then once I've made those, I'm going to sew them on, and then I'm going to put the other letters on that guy and then I'm going to put those two blocks together um and then I'm going to kind of get started on November's block but I want to get two rows into this first because that kind of takes priority right now um since I'm so far ahead on the book blanket at the moment I say that and then like by the time November comes around I'm gonna be behind it's fine um I also went ahead and set up my 2024 um Google Sheets doc like I started laundry I took the trash out I cleaned the fridge out like I am on top of things today um Here's hoping that shit doesn't get stupid with work, though. Because, like, sometimes things get stupid with work. And that takes away all of my spoons to do anything at all. So, um, I also need to do Bella edits, so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do some rearranging of things. Um, planning of things. But, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you later. Also, I'm sorry. I know this vlog is going to inherently be pretty short, but that's because I was super sick and I'm still kind of sick. So yay. Yay. So fun. So fun. As soon as my voice is like back to normal, I'm going to be filming hella videos. I've got to film my October wrap up. I have to film my, um, clear your shit tbr part two so the december tbr which i already have planned i just have to film it i need to work on a little bit more of my like wrap-ups for the end of the year and that kind of thing and then i also need to work on filming and setting up for my book blanket 
for 2024. Like, I'm set up for it, I just need to do the filming for it, so. Uh, I also want to rearrange my bookshelf at some point, because it needs it. Um, it's currently in chaos mode, so I might make a full con full video on it. I don't know, probably not, but I might. Um, I will let you guys know. You'll you'll know. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Okay, thanks. Bye. again. Yes, it's still Wednesday, but I'm going to be dyeing my hair again because the red faded super fast. I didn't completely fade out, but it still faded out. Um, and I want my hair to be like redder. Nobody worry about what products I'm using. Don't worry about it. You know what? Nobody will tell you and I'll tell you. Um, having been a hairstylist, fuck, I need the key. If you didn't know that, I was a hairstylist. I didn't actually do work. I mean, I worked, but I didn't like work in a salon because I was like, after going to school and everything, I was like, mm. <laughs> this is not for me, actually. I discovered <laughs> that as long as it's not actual box dye, and I do mean like the box dye that you go get at the um, store, it really doesn't matter. Like the product, it doesn't matter at all. Your hairstylist wants you to believe that it matters so that you can keep going back and and because when they make the for so I'll give them this credit when they make the formulas they know what they're putting on your hair and if you go home and put something else on your hair they got no control on the outcome right like they have no control and then also like if you go back to them and you're like fix this they're like I don't know how to, I don't know what you did um, so they're like limited on how much they can help you right <laughs> which makes sense right that part. That part I, I agree with hairstylists for. I, I recognize that that's what they do. Um, but for the most part, the products don't matter. <laughs> and the reason I say not disregarding box dye, um, the reason I say that specifically is because um, box dye doesn't let you determine like what the developer is. A lot of the time it's 40 volume, which is way too much. Um, it doesn't let you determine how much of what you need in your hair, um, and so that's a problem. I always heard the like it puts metallics in your, puts metals in your hair, which I think is really funny because I actually just saw an ad from L'Oreal that was like, "This removes the metal from your hair," and I just don't think that that matters that much. Um, the healthiest my hair ever was up until now. And now it's healthy because I don't do anything to it. Um, but the healthiest it ever was was actually when I was using box color. So I'm gonna, and, and the most unhealthy it ever was was when I bleached it after having box color, um, which is why I have not gone back to red until now. Um, and that's because I just, I don't care anymore. Um, but that's, that's what they don't want you. Big Pharma doesn't want you to know. Big Cosmetology doesn't want you to know um, is, is all of that. They don't want you to know <laughs> that really, the Sally's products are not that bad. <laughs> They're really not. Um, you just have to know your shit. And most people don't know their shit. And I think that's the other key point there is that most people actually don't know their shit. Um, they're just going in and they're trusting the Sally's people, which, okay, the Sally's people are generally people who are about to graduate or want to go to cosmetology school and have not graduated or even started yet. Um, some, I did, uh, meet one when I was getting this dye specifically. Um, he was, did graduate cosmetology school and realized, like, I don't want to work in cosmetology, so he's just doing retail for the time being. Um, which, that part, I felt that. I did the same shit, so. So yeah, that's the secrets they don't want you to know. And I'm telling them to you. Keep it between you and me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, also, my other secret would be to use it, use, always use gloves, especially if you're using red, because otherwise your hands are going to look like a bloody mess, which is 
fine this close to Halloween. By the time this post, it will not be close. Halloween will past. Um, but it's not so fine for the rest of the year. Um, oh, and the other thing is a brush. I would recommend a brush. I am not using a brush because I do not have one. I do have one. I just don't know where it is. And I, I don't feel like looking for it. Um, I do think that if you section appropriately, using your hands is fine. But um, most people don't section appropriately. So, yeah. So this is Coloring Your Hair 101. And it is called Coloring Your Hair and Not Dyeing It. Um, who fucking cares? Not I, but... Yeah, it's just some of the things that the beauty community likes to gatekeep and be fucking weird about. And I never understood it. I never understood it. Um, I did black box dye, and you know what? I was able to dye over it, bleach it, no problem, no damage, no fallout. Box, all of it boxed. And then the minute I went to like start using salon quality shit, that's when I had issues. So I think that it's more that a lot of these things don't play well together. And again, if you don't know what you're doing, that'll be the other part. I also washed my hair too much right after I did this the first time um, a couple weeks ago. I like had to, because I had stuff to do. So I had to like wash my hair a few times and it, it definitely made the color fade out faster than it should have. I also didn't let it sit as long as I should have because I like just wanted to go to bed or I wanted to be done before Aiden called. That's what it was. Aiden was going to call and I wanted to be done before he called, um, which I mean, he's going to call again today, but I'll be done by seven. So my plan is to do this and make dinner, eat dinner, let this sit for like 30, 30 minutes and then rinse it out. I probably won't blow dry it though. I don't know. Maybe I'll. No, I'm not going to blow dry it. The other thing is that like it didn't fade out, like fade fade. It just is like not as red as I think I wanted. I mean, I wanted strawberry blonde, but then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, no, I think I want it to be redder. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I need to, I never texted my mother-in-law back. That's because I was sick. And so I was like sleeping when she sent me all of her text messages. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because my niece, one of them, is a redhead. <laughs> and um, which, I mean, if you know anything about my um, husband's side of the family, it's kind of crazy. The way genetics works is wild. And I say that it's crazy because they are Hispanic and Italian and all of them have black hair. Um, his dad has blue eyes, but the rest of them have brown eyes. Um, you know, you all have seen pictures of my husband. I posted them before. He has dark hair. And, uh, my niece, she's like, not white people pale like me. So she's got the skin tone, uh, shading, right, of her mommy. But like her hair is, she's, she's a ginger. And they thought she was going to grow out of it. And I was like, uh, nope. No way. You don't, you don't start with red hair like that. Like sometimes they'll start blonde and then it'll get darker red and then it'll fade out further. You don't just like start red, <laughs> straight up red, and then it turn into, I don't know, brown later. Like it just, it, it's not very common. It'll darken for sure. She's only like four, so it'll definitely darken, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's red. Um, and I felt so, like, I don't know, at Christmas time, I don't know if you guys remember, but my hair was half red and half blonde. And um, she was so excited about it. Cause she's like, oh, your hair's like mine, your hair's like mine. And so um, then the next time she saw me, my hair was blonde again. And um, she's like, oh, your hair's not like mine anymore. And she like seemed sad about it. And I was like, well, fuck. So I, have this added benefit of my niece will will feel <laughs> seen. So I like sent pictures the first time I did this and I was like, I based my hair color off of your hair color, mama. It's so hard not to call her mama. She, they, they don't live here and so like that culture, I guess. They don't, they don't have as much of that. Like, she's not exposed to that as much. I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyway. I need to get this dye off of my forehead. I always overmix. Like, I always make too much color. 
Oh, that's the other other thing. They do make things that specifically get color off. They also make things that specifically protect around your ears and your neck and all that. Um, I like to wing it, as you can tell. So my mom always gets the stuff that's protective. I don't. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Do you like it? I like it. Anyway, hi, hello. It's Thursday, which means what? It means I'm closing out the vlog. Um, sorry for the super chaotic vlog in which you got a hell, hell of B-roll and then you got that whole clip of me dyeing my own hair and like being really weird about it. Um, basically giving you all of the, all the industry secrets. Um, but it came out really cute though. So it's redder. I haven't had my hair be this red since 2012, maybe. Um, so I was a redhead for a really long time, actually. And I actually think red, it, I, I think red looks better on me than blonde. <laughs> Don't tell my husband that, but I said that, but I told him that last night on the phone. So, um, I, I just do, I think that it looks better. And the other thing is that my hair takes to red really well. And I don't generally need to lighten my hair to have red hair. So I might just keep this for a little while. We will see what I end up doing, but, um, yeah. Yesterday, I finished Rouge by Mona Wad, which is what I wanted to do. I also, and I rated it like three stars. It wasn't as good as Bunny. It was fucking weird, but it wasn't as good as Bunny. I don't really know what happened, which is not that unusual, but I'm also reading the Sylvia Plath letters and um, enjoying that. So in next week's vlog, I'll probably be finishing that up. Um, but yeah, that's it. I just thought I would do um, a quick update so that I could close the vlog out. I will see you guys next week. Um, don't forget to take your meds, drink your water, do something, take care of yourselves. Uh, that's it. Okay, thanks. Bye. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is an okay bye.